Hear the howl of the wind. Friday's gusts are an abrupt welcome to winter weather. We catch so much wind, it's like a big parachute back there. Corey Miners just dropped off livestock to a customer when we caught up with him refueling. He says the wind will be more of a problem as he travels home to Dedham. I loaded just uh, three miles from my home, and once you're loaded, these things handle a lot better in the wind because you're so heavy. So, but the way back home here is another 80 miles or so, so I'm really, you know, gonna have to watch it. Wind gusts were up to 50 miles per hour Friday, and Miners says he saw slick roads early this morning. Truck drivers have a warning for travelers on the road, especially on windy days like this. Give them space in hopes to avoid a crash. That's 80,000 pounds, you're 2,000 pounds, you're a bug. We'll squish you. Just stay away. Jason Beam has been driving for 20 years. He says the wind takes a toll on a trucker's body. My arms are a lot more tired today. I've been driving since about 3 a.m., and it's you know, you, you, you got to really hold on because it'll take you real quick. And Beam says the trailer's load will also play a role in how the wind impacts travel. A tall truck, big billboard, billboard like that, it's going to want to tip over a lot easier because it's just not as much weight holding it down. It's only about 10,000. Usually I'm pulling 40 to 50,000. So. The weather didn't stop transportation, but Beam says it definitely had him paying closer attention behind the wheel. You see drivers getting blown you know, as you're trying to pass, all of a sudden you got to watch them because they're going to swerve into you a little bit. Waverly Monroe, KETV News Watch 7.